This is Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton, adapted for acoustic guitar. Um, I've adapted it for acoustic guitar today so that you can um, sing along with it as you play it for your friends around the campfire or just around the house. First let's learn the chords that you'll need to know to play the song and then we're going to move right along to the intro, verse, and chorus and we're even going to work on the solo a little. Let's get started with G5. Now G5, we're going to use our third and pinky together on the third fret on the second string and first strings. And then we're going to bring our first finger over to the second fret on the fifth string and our second finger to the third fret on the sixth string. And we're going to strum all the strings. When you strum it, it should sound like this. Next up we have D. Uh, to produce a D, we're going to use our first finger on the second fret on the third string, second finger, second fret, first string, and third finger, third fret, second string. And we're going to strum four strings for this. Should sound like that. Next up is C. For C, we're going to use our first finger on the first fret of the second string second finger second fret of the fourth string and third finger on the third fret of the fifth string. We're going to strum five strings for this one. It should sound like this. And finally E minor is our last chord. Uh, to produce this one we're going to use one and two as if they were one finger kind of glued together and we're going to put them on the fifth string and fourth strings on the second fret uh, your first finger being on the fifth and second being on the fourth, it should sound like this. So if you can play these four chords, uh, you can play the rhythm to Wonderful tonight. Let's move along to the intro. Okay, the chord pattern to the intro goes G5 to D to C to D that's G5 D C to D so basically it's the same thing twice in a row we're gonna do G5 D C D twice now we're going to work on the strumming and also the flat pick picking to this a little bit later, but um, first let's see if we can't just kind of uh, strum. Here's the uh, verse to Wonderful Tonight. Uh, it's kind of similar to the intro that we just looked at, in the beginning of it anyway, and then we're going to add a couple more chords to create the second half of the verse. Pattern's going to look like this. We have G, just like before, D. C, then D, then we're going to go back to G5, D again, C, then D. Here's where it gets a little different. We're going to go C, then D, G5, E minor, C, D, and back to G5. So I'll go through that again for you in case you want to maybe get a, a pencil and some paper to write it down as I go along. That way you'll have it in sequence written down. Um, here we go. G5, D, C, D, G5, D, C, D, C, D, G5, E minor, C, D, G5.
This is the bridge pattern to the song Wonderful Tonight. And here's what our chords are going to look like in order. It's going to go C, D, G5, E minor, C, D, C, D, and back to G5, at which point it's going to go back to the intro. Again, uh, get out your pad and paper. We have C, D, G5, E minor, C, D, C, D, and back to G5. There's the uh, bridge to the song. Let's move along to the more melodic part of the intro, the solo. Okay, this is the guitar melody to the song. Um, it's played exactly the same on acoustic as electric, so if you own an electric guitar and you want to play it on electric, uh, go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to adapt it for acoustic uh, because that's what this lesson's all about. It's all about doing an acoustic version of Wonderful Tonight. Here's what it's going to sound like. Okay, slowly, note for note, here's what it is. It starts with your third finger on the 10th fret on the 2nd string, and we're going to bend that string. A little bit here about bends. Bending a string is when you fret a note, and then slowly or quickly bend the string up so that it has a higher pitch. Uh, in this case, it's going to sound like this. We're going to bend it to that pitch. Um, after we do that note, we're going to release it and let it come back down without picking. Just like so. So we bend and release. Next note is going to be the 8th fret on the 2nd string with our index finger. And then we're going to go back to 10th fret with 3rd finger. So, so far we have this. The second part of the melody, we're going to repeat this little riff. And we're going to end it with our second finger on the third string on the ninth fret. So the second part. Then we're going to do the first lick that we learned again. And finish it off with first finger on seventh fret, then second finger on eighth fret. Then we're going to move up to twelfth. This is all on the first string. And then wind it up on the tenth fret. So our move there looks like this. Seven, eight, twelve, ten. So when we put it all together, we get this. Easy enough, right? So uh, let's move on now and work on the strumming to the song. All right, here's the strumming for Wonderful Tonight. Uh, when we do this one, you want to keep in mind to keep your right hand really relaxed and really mellow. It's a mellow song, so we want to keep it relaxed. Um, the whole time that we do the strum, your right hand is going to keep a constant up and down motion, just like me just like what I'm doing here. And you want to think of it almost as like a pendulum on a clock, just back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, very rhythmically. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose the, to uh, hit the strings sometimes, and other times not, even though our hand is going to keep moving in that up-down motion. In this case, our strum is going to look like this. And 
what I'm doing here is a down, then I miss the strums on the way up, then I go down up, strummed, miss the strings on the way down, and then I go up, down, up. So it's down, miss them on the way up, down, up, another miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we're just going to coordinate it with the chords. Um, each chord change getting a strum. For example, it's going to look like this. Listen for the chord change. Listen again. And you see all my chord changes are down strums. So let's move on and I'll show you what it looks like when you coordinate the uh, chords with the strums. Okay, if you uh, feel like stretching out a bit and adding a little bit more to the song, um, you can try flat picking some of the chords. It would sound something like this. And what I'm doing here is I'm picking uh, the strings individually while changing the chord shapes um, with my left hand. And I'm always starting on the bass note and then moving towards the higher strings. And back down. In this case, I'm going sixth string to fourth, third, second, first, and back. When I move to the D, the bass note is going to be on the fourth string as we learned earlier when we learned the chords. So our flat picking will start on the fourth string and move towards the higher strings and then back to the lower. In the case of the C, same idea. And you don't necessarily have to pick the strings just starting on the lowest mm -hmm. string and moving toward the higher and then back down. Uh, you can do some things to embellish it a little and mix up the tones. Um, here's just something that I'll come up with. It'll be kind of random. In this case, what sounds good is good. Uh, so use your imagination and try to pick out some, some really nice chord changes. Here's one for me. So as you can see there, I mixed up the notes a little bit. Um, so now let's take a, a look at what it looks like to coordinate the right and left hand with this. There you go, now you can see my left hand just a bit better and you can watch the chord changes as my right hand moves. Um, just like we studied with the strums, generally on the downbeat, it's going to be a downstroke, always on the bass note of the chord. So here's what it's going to look like. Switch. See how I use the bass notes? And there you have it, a little bit of uh, flat picking to throw in with the chord changes.